Normally you're relaxing after a successful Thanksgiving meal, but especially today, firefighters, they have to stay on their toes. Madeline O'Neill is live with what makes this holiday stand out. Well, as you can imagine, with all the extra cooking today, the National Fire Protection Association says today Thanksgiving is by far the leading day for home cooking fires. And that's just one of the calls firefighters have to be ready to respond to. Even on Thanksgiving, I like working on the holidays because uh, it's just a, a different dynamic, a big old family dynamic. Firefighters can't let a big meal slow them down. Compared to a typical day, the National Fire Protection Association says between three to four times as many cooking fires happen on Thanksgiving. It would make sense because everyone's cooking and staying at home. Something firefighter Nate Leff has seen on Thanksgivings he's worked in the past. They would uh, burn due to people leaving things in the oven and leaving the oven on overnight and lighting a fire. Milwaukee firefighters did put out a house fire on 91st Street in the afternoon this Thanksgiving, though they can't confirm right now that it started in the kitchen. It's not just fires. We get a lot of CO alarms uh, or um, a lot of natural gas leaks because people are cooking all day. We want to be careful of that because it's a colorless, it's an odorless, and you can't really tell it's around in the house unless you have those very important carbon monoxide detectors. For upcoming holidays, Left says you'll want to steer clear of deep frying turkeys while they're still frozen and always avoid using water when tackling a grease fire. If, let's say, a grease fire occurs in the pot, uh, you don't want to be running that outside or into the sink. It's super easy. All you got to do is take a lid, put that right on top, and it puts the fire right out. That can help keep the focus off of a fire and on the food. It's better if we stay in the house so that doesn't have us going out on emergency calls and having people in danger. Yeah, I'm gonna back up. One more thing firefighters still want you to keep in mind tonight is to drive sober. Make sure you and everyone else gets home safely. Live in Milwaukee, Madeline O'Neill, Fox 6 News. All right, Maddie, thank you.